is December the 10th. And this is December the 10th out at uh, Hanford West uh, High School. Uh, this is an event from 1.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. It's called Inspire California's Winter College Workshop. Uh, and once again, it's going to be held Sunday, December the 10th, Hanford West High School. How important is it for parents that are listening right now uh, to get their kids involved in this program? Well, uh, yeah, thank you again for, you know, again, having me on the show and uh, specifically really talking about this upcoming program. Um, uh, December 10th event, we're going to really primarily focus uh, specifically on uh, the college culture, promoting college culture, prom promoting college readiness, college prep uh, preparation for you know, uh, freshmen, sophomores, juniors in high school. Again, it's never too early to start to plan your future post-graduation uh, post and after high school. In today's global economy, it, you see uh, when we look at trends at the state legislature, you see that a, a call, at least a minimum for your educa uh, college education is really now uh, becoming the norm in today's global economy. So many employers uh, have an abundance of people applying for jobs. I, you know, recently I heard a, a job in the Capitol, over 100 people applied for one position. So you know, that's wow. phenomenal. So you really, as a, as a high school student, you really got to think of ways how you can distinguish yourself, how to make yourself valuable, how to really uh, stand out on a resume. And that's what we try to teach in our workshops. So December 10th event, we're going to have a special guest speaker, um, Amanda Renteria, a yeah. Central Valley native. She was formerly Hillary Clinton's uh, national policy director. She'll be coming in and speaking to the students. She currently works in Sacramento at the Department of Justice for Attorney General Javier Becerra. So she has a wealth of experience and knowledge. She's uh, a graduate of both Harvard and Stanford. Wow. Uh, so and from Woodlake. Yeah, and she's from Woodlake, people. She's from Come Woodlake, on. California. <laughs> so um, she's going to be there speaking to the students. Um, she's going to have the opportunity, there's going to be an opportunity for questions and answers. Kids are going to be able to ask you know, her questions about you know, their high school experience uh, and, and potential colleges that they're looking at. And then we're going to break into individual workshops where we're going to have, again, college educated young professionals who are all from the Valley themselves, but they're willing to donate of their time and come back to the Central Valley to speak with the kids uh, on a whole host of issues. After Amanda speaks on that Sunday, we're going to have uh, workshops for the rest of the day, workshops on financial aid, workshops on scholarships, how to yeah. apply for scholarships. And then for this uh, freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, we're going to have young college educated pro professionals who can relate to the students uh, themselves and who are going to be there uh, again helping those individuals start to prepare and start to get in the mindset of college readiness. What's the most common thing you've heard um, while you've been doing this program from the kids? Is it like, oh, I'll never make it to Harvard or oh, I'll never make it to USC. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm from Hanford. I'll never make it there. Uh, what, what's like one of the most common things they say? Because that's one of the things that I feel like a lot of these kids don't understand. It's like, yes, you can make it there. You just got to plan. Yeah, exactly. And again, which uh, something you alluded to at the beginning of the, of the show, right? A lot of people don't know where the Central Valley is. Yes. A lot of people don't know the unique uh, circumstances and the unique challenges that so many Central Valley students really face. Um, obviously, being removed from some of the larger uh, metropolises throughout the state, like the greater Los Angeles area, San Francisco, San Jose, Sacramento. And in those areas, you, you're afforded a whole host of resources, opportunities, programs. I know when I went to the state capitol, I saw a whole host of programs like, well, these are really cool high school programs. I wish I would have had the opportunity to participate in something like that when I was in high school. Mm. So essentially, the Inspire California has been really primarily developed with, you know, high school Aaron in mind. I think of myself, what would I have enjoyed? What opportunities I like would, that. would I have been really interested in? Um, and it really goes back to, you know, me, myself. I use my high school experience at Hanford West. Despite the fact it was a great experience, I really enjoyed the staff there. Um, my career counselor, Ruben, he's been phenomenal uh, throughout. You know, our our old high school yeah, career counselor yeah. is still at Hanford West, and he's still been helping me with this program. So, I just look at you know myself as a high school student, and you know I didn't apply to any of the Ivy League schools. I didn't think those were you know within reach for me. Yeah, it was like out of yeah. our, out of our element. You know, so, with no way. So I definitely try to to tell the kids right. Uh, if you're going to limit yourself from the outset, then, you know, you're, you're going to be your biggest hindrance, right? Mm -hmm. Obviously, sometimes fear is the biggest limiting factor. Uh, it's not rejection. It's usually fear unless you are willing to take that step and, and really push yourself to the limits. Uh, you're going to already uh, be defeated if, if you don't at least make the attempt. Uh, 
so that's one of the main things we try primarily try to, to focus with the kids and really try to reiterate is that you know you got to be your biggest advocate yeah you got to be your biggest champion and you got to really believe in yourself because um you know if you don't apply you have a you know if you're not going to take the initiative to apply like to stanford to harvard and there's a hundred percent chance you won't get in right no, because you didn't, you didn't take you that didn't, opportunity you didn't take the risk yeah. but uh, you know at least you know put put the ball in their court you know force them to evaluate what you've submitted and and actually you know reject you but unless you take that step you'll never know and uh, you know at least uh, if i hadn't taken a lot of steps in my life i wouldn't be in the opportunity i, I am now to, to give back uh, but i always push myself as much as i can uh, as i could at the time it, at least in the mindset i was in and we, that's you know it's primarily what we're trying to do with, with the kids we're trying to get them to to look at things in a different mindset that um their situation uh may not be i think the the best uh in their in their terms but in the, at least in their viewpoint but definitely look at maybe disadvantages as advantages right so once again for the parents that are listening right now this uh, event is happening december the 10th 1 30 p.m to 5 p.m at hanford west high school how can parents that are listening right now that want to get their uh, high school students involved with the inspire california winter college workshop or even just want to get involved with inspire california in general how can they get in touch with you Right, so if parents are interested in registering their student for our Sunday, December 10th event at Hanford West, um, again, it's open to all students in the Hanford Joint Union High School District, uh, whether you know, Sierra Pacific, Hanford High, or Hanford West students. Uh, they can reach me at area code 559-639-7364. You can either text or call that number, and I'm pretty responsive as far as uh, following up with you. Again, that's 559-639-7364. 559-639-7364. Right. That's the number you want to call to get involved with this, folks. So parents out there listening, do not wait. Waiting is going to cause you stress. Do not wait. Plan now. A lot of parents are thinking, oh, well, I'll wait till my kid becomes a senior and then start working on all that stuff. No, you can start when they're a freshman, right? Right. And it actually is uh, to their benefit that you start as early as possible yeah. because uh, then your students are going to have the opportunity to you know develop their two to three year projection plan with their career counselor they can uh, engage in summer internships and other fellowship programs that are, are available to a whole host of you know kids across the valley that a lot of times we just don't know about because and it is a lot of paperwork yeah it <laughs> it's is. a lot of paperwork but you got to fill it out it's a lot of paperwork <laughs> and sometimes it's, it's very daunting and yeah. confusing so uh, it's always good to have uh, the inspire california resources and mentors there to help students along the process a good example of, of that is uh, in our summer college prep program, we actually had Fresno State and Fresno Pacific uh, admissions officers and recruiters come in and they helped uh, the kids step by step through the application process. And even from that perspective, we saw there was a lot of questions. It was, we saw, you know, even in our capacity as mentors, uh, there was a lot of stuff that it was really nice to have that expertise um, because sometimes the, the information is not as, as uh, you know, abundantly clear as it probably should be for a lot of students and parents, especially if you're trying to navigate through the process yourself. So uh, that was a good example of something that we saw was beneficial to the students. Having Fresno State admissions officers and recruiters come down, actually work with the students, give them hands-on practical advice. And, and then recently we had an Inspire California weekend workshop yeah. where we came down again to the Hanford West Career Center on a Sunday and we worked with the kids as they drafted college personal statements and essays. A lot of times there's a lot of of uh, mystery behind the process, what helps your college essay or personal statement really stand out. And that's the thing we tried to instill in the kids. You really want to convey a really compelling narrative so that that college application uh, really stands out when it's being reviewed by the admissions officers. 